The Messerschmitt Me262 holds the distinction of being the world's first combat operational jet-powered fighter aircraft. It had exceptional speed, maneuverability and firepower, but its engines were temperamental. Pilots of this iconic World War II fighter aircraft had to grasp the following performance characteristics to effectively operate in a combat environment. Armament. The Me262 was armed with four 30mm Rheinmittal Borsig Mark 108 cannons mounted in the nose. The Mark 108 cannon fired a mix of armor-piercing incendiary rounds and high-capacity high-explosive rounds, which were often called mine shells. The fuse of the armor-piercing incendiary round was hydrostatic and detonated when it penetrated a fuel tank, an oil tank or entered the hydraulic control system. The fuse of the high-capacity, high-explosive mine shell was sensitive and detonated when it came into contact with the aluminium skin of an aircraft. With 1.5 times the explosive charge of a World War II hand grenade, a single mine shell could blow the wing off a fighter plane. Testing conducted by the RAF showed that a single hit from a 30mm mine shell could cause enough structural damage to sever the fuselage of a medium bomber. The Mark 108 cannon had a rate of fire of 650 rounds per minute. With four Mark 108 cannons, a one-second burst from an Me262 fired 43 rounds. Hits from only four or five of these 43 rounds would be more than enough to devastate any World War II aircraft. Engine. The Umol 004B was an axial flow turbojet engine with six combustion chambers. The B1 variant, which is common in modern flight sims, had a modified compressor and turbine to reduce vibration and increase thrust. It developed 1,980 pounds, 8,800 newtons, of thrust in emergency mode at 8,700 rpm. Emergency mode could only be sustained for five minutes. Elements required to develop heat-resistant metal alloys were scarce. Compromises resulted in many hot working parts being made from mild metals coated in aluminium. As a result, major overhauls were required after 10 to 25 hours of operation to change the combustion chambers and inspect the blades. Total engine replacements were required after 35 to 50 hours of operation, depending on the variant of the engine. Engine management. Engines are controlled automatically by the throttle, which sets engine RPM. Caution must always be used when changing throttle settings, as sharp rapid throttle changes can lead to overheating or flameouts. Careless rapid throttle increases at high RPM can result in excessively rich fuel mixture, causing overheating and fire in one or both engines. At high altitude, careless rapid throttle decreases can result in excessively lean fuel mixture, causing flameout and loss of one or both engines. Do not attempt to restart the engines at altitudes higher than 13,000 feet 4, meters, due to extremely high risk of fire. In cases of flameout or engine shutdown due to fire, the pilot must remember to pull the throttle all the way back to the engine cutoff position. Otherwise fuel will accumulate in the engine resulting in fire upon restart. The Umol 004 is sensitive to compressor stalls arising from foreign object damage by birds or debris clouds from damaged aircraft. A decrease in RPM or exhaust gas temperature, accompanied by an increase in fuel flow, may indicate a compressor stall in one engine. Given the nature of combat damage, the pilot may elect to shut down the affected engine and return to base. The plane handles well with only one engine. Speed and acceleration. The Me262 has a cruise speed of 460 miles per hour, 740 kilometers per hour, with a maximum level flight speed of 540 miles per hour, 870 kilometers per hour. Acceleration from speeds below 250 miles per hour, 400 kilometers per hour, was slow due to inefficiencies in the jet engine. This made the Me262 particularly vulnerable to attack during takeoff and landing. At speeds over 250 miles per hour, 400 kilometers per hour, engine efficiency increased due to a ram air effect. However, acceleration was still relatively slow and the plane needs to be properly trimmed to reach top speeds in level flight. Climb. Sustained climb rates at lower altitudes are good, 
but above 20,000 feet, 6,000 meters, climb rate is 20% lower than a contemporary P-51D and 50% lower than a Spitfire 14. Because the airframe is extremely streamlined, little energy is lost during high-speed short climbs. Dive. The ME262 has excellent dive characteristics. Speed is gained very quickly and the maximum dive limit is set at 621 miles per hour, 1000 kilometers per hour. The airspeed indicator has a maximum limit of 683 miles per hour, 1100 kilometers per hour. ME262 pilots have reported that control may be regained from an excessively fast dive by adjusting the angle of incidence of the tailplane. The ME262 had an adjustable stabilizer, not just trim taps. The adjustable stabilizer has also been used to trim for Mach tuck during high-speed dives, which is accepted to occur at 0.84 Mach. Be careful reducing engine RPM to regain control in a dive, as flameout is likely to occur. Maneuverability. Although the ME262 has relatively gentle stall and landing characteristics, poor engine response at low speed makes low altitude flight characteristics unforgiving. Maximum performance turns are not competitive with piston engine fighters, however, the airframe is remarkably maneuverable at speeds where other fighters lock up. The Mi-262's maneuverability is unmatched at speeds around 500 miles per hour. In closing, the ME262 is a remarkable plane, but not only because of its jet engines. Combined with the Umor 004B jet engines, the streamlined, swept-wing airframe of the ME262 resulted in a revolutionary leap in performance and capabilities for its time. Skilled pilots who knew their airplane's performance envelope were always more formidable adversaries.